at his class. 25 years old this Saturday. World champion in 94 and 95. Olympic silver medalist in Lillehammer. The macho man, Elvis Stoiko for Canada. Music from the Rocketeer. Now, can he match Todd Eldridge? Well, he's starting well enough. Triple axle, triple toe loop, as easy as you like. Double axle. So just the triple after the uh, step sequence to come. done it too and what a competition we've got in store for us tomorrow night it's going to be fantastic he's going to be up there as we said yesterday it's the same in the individual short program as in the pairs you can't win it but you can sure as heck lose it and he hasn't lost it he's right up there with Eldridge Eldridge may just pip him here for the presentation but he's going to be in the top two three he may even get top spot not for me but it's very difficult to pick between them. No, I think uh, at this standard, it comes down to the nitty-gritty, really. And uh, if you're comparing the two programs, Eldridge's spins today were phenomenal. The position in the sit spin was much, much better than Stoiko's, and the, uh, the speed of the spins was better as well. So I think that's where Eldridge will just pip him at the post, and I think it, it'll be uh, Eldridge leading with uh, Stoiko in second place. But uh, what a, a, a show of courage here. He's come out after a, a brilliant performance by Eldridge, and look, no hesitation into the combination. Triple axle right out of the top draw. Smacks that toe in and a beautiful light triple toe on the end. Yeah, these guys are almost superhuman. Bushy Kessler who choreographed the program. Yeah, you're right, Simon. They really are because it's one thing doing a triple axle triple toe, but it's a completely different ball game doing it under this kind of pressure. She knows how important that first combination was. And it means that tomorrow night, once more, last year's Worlds in Edmonton was the best figure skating event I've ever seen, the men's. And uh, this one promises almost to match it. We can't hope for such a thing, but it's going to get near, that's for sure. 
And Stoiko and Elders are going to be right up there. They might be in first and second place. Don't forget, later on, we've got Ilya Kulik. We've got Alexei Ermanov. So they may not necessarily be first and second, but you wouldn't bet against it right now. No, not quite. Three have him first and six in second. Strange the five sevens for technical. I must say, I thought it was a better than that. But of course, they've both gone relatively early. He's the tenth to go. They've got another 21. But I don't think he'll be dropping certainly below third. And remember tomorrow, if he's in the top three, which he surely will be, whoever's first, second or third, if they win the free, they win the event. So he's done his job.